Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another video. Let's get into some recent Ripple XRP news. So first things first, we have shared by Six Cents on Twitter, and he just says right here in a few screenshots in the sources below, DTCC recently launched its redesigned partner program to provide greater collaboration with existing and new partnerships across the DTCC enterprise. The partners listed below offer value-added systems, services, or solutions that interface with DTCC derivative and serves GTR service. So if we take a look really quick, I mean, I have the sources right here. Basically, I want to zoom in to these little screenshots here, though, a little better. <clears throat> so right here, the DTCC recently launched and redesigned its program. And for those of you that don't know, I've done a lot of videos on the Deposit Trust and Clearing Corporation. It is a giant financial services company providing clearing and settlement services to almost all of the financial markets in today's world. They transact annually worldwide approximately 1.7 quadrillion, quadrillion guys, dollars per year in value worldwide. It is by far the highest financial value processor in the world. So this is absolutely huge. They are always working with DLT technology to improve transparency, messaging, tracking, you name it. So let's see, DTCC's global trade repository supports over 150 partners that can offer testing functionality, third-party submission services, and add-on solutions for reconciliation. And then we have also the GTR service, same thing, global trade repository. And they're also in cahoots with Corda, which is R3's open source blockchain. But as we go on right here, more than 150 partners processing, TP collateral management. And we'll go to the next one really quick. Read that. And then this is what I wanted to focus on. Let me get the zoom in correctly. All right. So cross currency swap as Cordap. We developed a proof of concept for the life cycle management of cross currency swaps on the Corda platform. The swap parameters were recorded using the trading system Front Arena and afterwards issued on the Corda network using ISDA's common domain model to map the swap onto the respective Corda app. Using the Ripple network and Corda settlement mechanism, we implemented event-based handling of cash flows based on the settlement of IOU contracts. So more Ripple, more Corda, more connections. All right. And as you can see here, sorry if the picture's zoomed out a bit. You know, that's frustrating. We got Volante. And of course, you can see the payments that they're working with. Of course, all, you know, ACH, we got Zelle, Swift. But then we have Ripple, just to show you. And then the over the counter derivative platforms, DTCC, GTR, and then MarketServe. So, and again, MarketServe is just more so like over the counter trade processing. Um, end-to-end -end trade processing workflow solutions that support, you know, everyone in the OTC trading um, along with, you know, trade confirmation and just, you know, really handling the reporting of all the clearing. But the big one that I want you to pay attention to is the DTCC. That's $1.7 quadrillion a year moved. And you see Ripple's a payment, and this is where I wholeheartedly believe the XRP ledger will be involved to bridge that gap. And that's why XRP is so useful as a digital asset. But all right. Let me zoom out here, get back to 100. Hopefully it loads. Thanks for your patience, guys. All right, so right here, shared by 9X Machine X9. So Gilbert Verdian, he's the CEO of the Quant Network and QNT, creates new technologies and companies, converging AI, cybersecurity, and blockchain. He actually is talking about how the Quant Network over Ledger will benefit Ripple and the XRP Ledger, better known as XRPL. So here's something that he actually typed out recently. So, <clears throat> as he goes on to say, the CEO of Quant, and there it's called Overledger, not the XRP Ledger. We are agnostic and interoperating with different blockchains, including Ripple, XRP Ledger. Similarly, by connecting to Overledger, we help provide market access, more users and clients from enterprise permission blockchains and public permissionless blockchains to the Ripple network and vice versa. Some use cases by using Overledger. And I just want to bring this to attention because a lot of people that are, you know, Q&T holders or XRP holders, there's this like cultish, cultish um, loyalty and 
it's very it's getting very tribal and you have to understand that there is so much space for everybody to interoperate together with various use cases and xrp was created with a specific use case in mind just as quant is so right here we got internal corda and then overledger connects it right to the ripple xrp ledger hyperledger network we got overledger to the hyperledger network too to overledger to the ripple xrpl and you can just see all the connections even bridging the jpm coin we got Libra is another example, if Libra survives, which I think it will. I mean, the world is based upon money. I know that regulators are hitting Facebook's coin hard just to protect their own interests, but I think everyone will get a slice of the pie. So we'll see what happens because I'm not sure if because if Facebook leads this march, then you're going to see a lot of these other organizations creating their own native digital asset as well, such as Amazon. We've got Overledger connecting to XRPL, Binance Chain. I'm excited to learn more about that as well. Overledger, Ripple XRPL. So I also see a use case with our universal utility token approach where we can move digital assets across networks powered by QNT and then do settlement with XRP, a central bank digital currency or USC. And obviously we already know what the most favorable option is to do settlement in a timely manner with scalability as well. And that's XRP and they can power it using Overledger as well. So there's many, many options depending on what they want to do. And they've spoken with, you know, David Schwartz a few times, especially at C the CTO of Ripple at Consensus in New York. And it's just really cool to see that, that they're, you know, working closely, looking to collaborate with each other and really develop the ecosystem as a whole. So just remember, and again, this is Gilbert Verdian, so give him a follow. So QNT and XRP can work together if they both survive and thrive. All right, shared by XRP Boy. These are just some screenshots by some older articles um, that Ripple has, and it just serves as a great reminder of the connections that they have. So, there's multiple very large influential companies whom Ripple has relationships with. I mean, Finastra has 48 of the top 50 banks in the entire world as customers, and they have a partnership with Ripple. For those of you with any doubts about the success of the company, I have two words for you. Game over. And that's very true. Every single video, guys, we are going over the connections that Ripple, this once small private startup, billion dollar startup in you know Silicon Valley or San Francisco has because there are deep ties. And I know this sounds very tinfoil hat-ish, but it truly is plans within plans. XRP is the only digital asset that is almost never mentioned. And if it is, these officials will skim over it. They're biting their tongue and then they try really not to address it. They'll literally, and keep in mind, XRP is third by market cap. They'll go Bitcoin, they'll address Ethereum. They will deliberately skip XRP just to avoid mentioning it. And then they'll talk about Litecoin or something. It's very suspicious. All right, another thing by XRP boy. So, and they're gonna briefly touch on the topic of utility because the utility of a currency is bound to its efficiency. And I know I kind of, touch this but i do want to go over this again a low efficient energy hungry carbon emitting currency is by design more limited than an efficient currency when it comes to some of the most fundamental utilities that a currency enables trade and payments and this is kind of a comparison between bitcoin and xrp it becomes apparent that for a currency to be adopted in the widest way possible efficiency is on the top of the list for having a high yield of utility payments and trade possibilities but is it just utility that is behind the actual value? Recall the reasons why money came into existence. It, provides, it provided agents on the market with an easy and widely accepted medium of exchange. Easily and widely accepted. The main point to be made here is that money should increase efficiency no matter what trust model the currency uses. Whether it's proof of consensus, proof of work, proof of stake. It needs to be efficient in order to have a chance of being widely adopted and functional for us all and the planet Earth. Our aim is not to embrace or discredit any model for trust on the basis of its trust component alone. We would rather state, if there is trust, regardless of the model enabling it, the main value driver behind this trusted asset is going to be its utility and scalability along with the costs associated with the further utilization and scaling of this asset. In this frame of reference, Ripple's XRP is way ahead of its current competition. A lot of digital assets lack a clear purpose. They may, they may be used for store value, purchase commodities, or for consumer transactions, but were not created with a single explicit application in mind. In contrast, XRP is specifically about the transfer of value 
and built for banks, financial institutions, payment services, providers, and enterprises, making it one of the few digital assets with a real clear use case behind it. XRP is also in a unique space where it's not built to replace current currencies, but to work as a bridge currency where the systems upholding the current, current currencies can utilize Ripple's XRP for moving their native assets more efficiently and consequently costing less. This is a great article. And again, I, I believe this was uh, right on the Ripple website. Let me see if there's any sources for this one. Source, please. No, but again, there's, you can go through all these old articles on XRP where they talk. So, All right, right here, XRP Sidious and XRP underscore the judge. I like this. The first rule about the crypto market is that we do not speak about XRP. All the politicians obviously know this rule. Rule number one, when creating the Internet of Value, IOV, and rebuilding the backbone of the new global financial system, never, ever talk about the standard XRP. And I know you guys have heard time and time again the past day or so all the news that came out with XRP um, and all the news just about digital assets and the government and different like high-level officials addressing Libra and Bitcoin and almost avoiding that. But then we had name-dropped MoneyGram. We had name-dropped companies, you know, Ripple. So very, very big things to add. So guys, again, basic summary, DTCC involved with the Cord app and Corda utilizing Ripple for payments. And we all know that eventually as there's more interoperability, there's a high likelihood, high probability of XRP being engaged. We talked about Quant and the QNT network, how they're actually not competitors, whereas they can help each other thrive in each of their ledgers, whether it's Ripple's XRPL or Quant's Overledger network. Talking about their deep connections and again, their goal. And Arguably, I know Bitcoin can be a store of value, but so can XRP. And to me, that's not a very worthy use case. I mean, obviously, there is more to it behind Bitcoin, of course, being in control of your own money and funds. I, I totally get that and I respect it. I like that. But for me to get a return on my investment, I want to work with the system. And that's just, you know, my personal thing. And again, this is entertainment purposes. Please, please, please always do your own research. Get you know, resources, use, you know, read, don't just watch YouTube and please, please, please only invest what you're willing to lose. So guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.